Whiskey Wednesday. This week we're doing another bottle of Jack Daniels. It's still a rye, but it's the single barrel rye whiskey. So we have this guy here. It is not like the regular single barrel. The regular one is the Tennessee whiskey. This one is a rye whiskey. It's 45%, it's a little bit unusual. And typically with most of the single barrels, most people think they're the same recipe as the regular blended Jack Daniels. They're not and it's just states on the label. You can get a single cast scotch, you can get a single cast bourbon. This is the same idea. So one barrel, which does taste particularly good, they pick it, they bottle it, 250 to 340 bottles roughly, depending on where you get it from. And then as a result of doing it, you get this beautiful one-off example, unique fingerprint in Jack Daniel style whiskey. So let's have a smell, let's have a taste, and let's see what's going on. Now already, it's much more subtle than the regular rye. The regular rye is big on the mint, it's big on the classic vanilla and caramel notes. This thing's a little bit more restrained, which is odd given the fact it's more singular in its form. Much more gentle, more barrel spice, and more of that kind of classic Jack Daniels elements of banana and coconut and mango. It's very exotic. Uh, it's still 70% rye, it's the same recipe as the regular one but very, very different. Tasting them side by side, you wouldn't think they were the same product. Yeah, bigger on the exotic fruits, more of that classic barrel char kind of flavour. Just genuinely quite well rounded for a single barrel. Not very punchy, not very in your face. really easy drinking, like really, really easy drinking. Very silky texture, almost the texture of caramel itself. And then the finish just, just brings you like a little bit more rye, that kind of slightly green earthy flavors that you get with the, the blended rye, the regular one. This was about 50 pounds a bottle, so it's double the price of the standard. But it's very, 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 I don't like the word, but it's very, very smooth. Can't really go wrong with that at 45%. If you think Jack Daniels isn't a whiskey or for some reason it has a bad reputation, I challenge you to try this and challenge your opinions on it because that is something that is balanced, it's got sweetness, it's got spice, it's a single barrel, it's a one-off but it's not in your face, it's not going to challenge your palate, you don't have to drink lots of water after it. It's a very elegant whiskey altogether. Um, I'm going to give it like an eight and a half. That's really, 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 really nice whiskey. Quite a nice bottle too, and into that kind of decanter shapes. But yeah, eight and a half out of ten. Balanced, fruity, smooth. New styles for Jack Daniels. First time in 76 years they've changed any recipes around, and they're doing a great job with it. They're really going to challenge the rye market with this one. Uh, so thank you all for watching. This has been Wasted Wednesday, and I will see you all next week. Cheers.